C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 8 comparing quantities page 169 8.6 charge given on borrowed money or simple interest so Hini said that they were going to buy a new scooter. Mohan asked her whether they had the money to buy it. So Hini said her father was going to take a loan from a bank. The money you borrow is known as sum borrowed or principal. This money would be used by the borrower for some time before it is returned. For keeping this money for some time, the borrower has to pay some extra money to the bank. This is known as interest. You can find the amount you have to pay at the end of the year by adding the sum borrowed and the interest that is amount is equal to principal plus interest interest is generally given in percent for a period of one year it is written as say 10 percent per year or per annum or in short as 10 percent pa that is per annum 10 percent pa means on every hundred rupees borrowed 10 rupees is the interest you have to pay for one year let us take an example and see how this works example 20 Anita takes a loan of 5,000 rupees at 15% per year as rate of interest. Find the interest she has to pay at the end of one year. Page 170 Solution The sum borrowed is equal to 5,000 rupees. Rate of interest is equal to 15% per year. This means if 100 rupees is borrowed, she has to pay 15 rupees as interest for one year. If she has borrowed 5000 rupees, then the interest she has to pay for one year is equal to 15 upon 100 multiplied by 5000 rupees which is equal to 750 rupees so at the end of the year she has to give an amount of 5000 rupees plus 750 rupees which is equal to 5750 rupees we can write a general relation to find interest for one year. Take P as the principal or sum and R percent as rate percent per annum. Now, on every hundred rupees borrowed, the interest paid is R rupees. Therefore, on P rupees borrowed, the interest paid for one year would be R multiplied by P divided by 100, which is equal to P multiplied by R divided by 100. 8.6.1 Interest for multiple years If the amount is borrowed for more than one year, the interest is calculated for the period the money is kept for. For example, if Anita returns the money 
at the end of two years and the rate of interest is the same, then she would have to pay twice the interest, that is, 750 rupees for the first year and 750 rupees for the second. This way of calculating interest, where principal is not changed, is known as simple interest. As the number of years increase, the interest also increases. For 100 rupees borrowed for 3 years at 18%, the interest to be paid at the end of 3 years is 18 plus 18 plus 18, which is equal to 3 multiplied by 18, which is equal to 54 rupees. We can find the general form for simple interest for more than one year. We know that on a principle of P rupees at R percent rate of interest per year, the interest paid for one year is R multiplied by P divided by 100. Therefore, interest I paid for T years would be T multiplied by R multiplied by P divided by 100, which is equal to P multiplied by R multiplied by T divided by 100 or PRT upon 100. And amount you have to pay at the end of T years is A is equal to P plus I. Try these. 1. 10,000 rupees is invested at 5% interest rate per annum. Find the interest at the end of one year. 2. 3,500 rupees is given at 7% per annum rate of interest. Find the interest which will be received at the end of two years. 3. 6,050 rupees is borrowed at 6.5% rate of interest per annum. Find the interest and the amount to be paid at the end of three years. 4. 7,000 rupees is borrowed at 3.5% rate of interest per annum, borrowed for two years. Find the amount to be paid at the end of the second year. Just as in the case of prices related to items, if you are given any two of the three quantities in the relation I is equal to P multiplied by T multiplied by R divided by 100, you could find the remaining quantity. Page 171 Example 21 If Manohar pays an interest of 750 rupees for two years on a sum of 4,500 rupees, find the rate of interest. Solution 1. I is equal to P multiplied by T multiplied by R upon 100. Therefore, 750 is equal to 4500 multiplied by 2 multiplied by R upon 100. Or, 750 divided by 45 multiplied by 2 is equal to R. Therefore, rate is equal to 8 1 upon 3 percent. Solution 2 For two years, interest paid is 750 rupees. Therefore, for one year, interest paid 750 divided by 2 rupees 
is equal to 375 rupees. On 4,500 rupees, interest paid is 375 rupees. Therefore, on 100 rupees, rate of interest paid is equal to 375 multiplied by 100 divided by 4,500, which is equal to 8 1 upon 3%. Try these. One, you have two thousand four hundred rupees in your account, and the interest rate is five percent. After how many years would you earn two hundred forty rupees as interest? Two. On a certain sum, the interest paid after three years is four hundred fifty rupees at 5% rate of interest per annum. Find the sum. Exercise 8.3 1. Tell what is the profit or loss in the following transactions. Also find profit percent or loss percent in each case. A. Gardening shares bought for 250 rupees and sold for 325 rupees. B. A refrigerator bought for 12,000 rupees and sold at 13,500 rupees. C. A cupboard bought for 2,500 rupees and sold at 3,000 rupees. D. A skirt bought for 250 rupees and sold at 150 rupees. 2. Convert each part of the ratio to percentage. A. 3 is to 1. B. 2 is to 3 is to 5. C. 1 is to 4. D. 1 is to 2 is to 5. 3. The population of a city decreased from 25,000 to 24,500. Find the percentage decrease. 4. Arun bought a car for 3,50,000 rupees. The next year, the price went up to 3,70,000 rupees. What was the percentage of price increase? 5. I buy a TV for 10,000 rupees and sell it at a profit of 20%. How much money do I get for it? 6. Juhi sells a washing machine for 13,500 rupees. She loses 20% in the bargain. What was the price at which she bought it? 7. 1. Chalk contains calcium, carbon and oxygen in the ratio 10 is to 3 is to 12. Find the percentage of carbon in chalk. 2. If in a stick of chalk, carbon is 3 grams, what is the weight of the chalk stick? Page 172 8. Amina buys a book for 275 rupees and sells it at a loss of 15%. How much does she sell it for? 9. Find the amount to be paid at the end of three years in each case. A. Principal is equal to 1,200 rupees at 12% per annum. B. Principal is equal to 7,500 rupees at 5% per annum. 10. What rate gives 
280 rupees as interest on a sum of 56,000 rupees in two years. 11. If Meena gives an interest of 45 rupees for one year at 9% rate per annum, what is the sum she has borrowed? What have we discussed? 1. We are often required to compare two quantities in our daily life. They may be heights, weights, salaries, marks, etc. 2. While comparing heights of two persons with heights 150 centimeters and 75 centimeters, we write it as the ratio 150 is to 75 or 2 is to 1. 3. Two ratios can be compared by converting them to like fractions. If the two fractions are equal, we say the two given ratios are equivalent. 4. If two ratios are equivalent, then the four quantities are said to be in proportion. For example, the ratios 8 is to 2 and 16 is to 4 are equivalent. Therefore, 8, 2, 16 and 4 are in proportion. 5. A way of comparing quantities is percentage. Percentages are numerators of fractions with denominator 100. Percent means per 100. For example, 82% marks means 82 marks out of 100. 6. Fractions can be converted to percentages and vice versa. For example, 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 4 multiplied by 100%, whereas 75% is equal to 75 upon 100, which is equal to 3 upon 4. 7. Decimals too can be converted to percentages and vice versa. For example, 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.25 multiplied by 100%, which is equal to 25%. 8. Percentages are widely used in our daily life. A. We have learned to find exact number when a certain percent of the total quantity is given. B. When parts of a quantity are given to us as ratios, we have seen how to convert them to percentages. C. The increase or decrease in a certain quantity can also be expressed as percentage. D. The profit or loss incurred in a certain transaction can be expressed in terms of percentages. E. While computing interest on an amount borrowed, the rate of interest is given in terms of percents. For example, 800 rupees borrowed for 3 years at 12% per annum. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.